be me, 11 or 12, don't really remember age but just ballparking it. Spending the night at my aunt's house. As a kid, I was always super scared to be away from home, naturally on itch. Have a twin brother so we spent the night there together, but he was a heavy sleeper so it still felt like I was on my own most of the night. We watch TV and have ice cream, nothing special, basic bonding stuff. Eventually go to bed, my aunt with her boyfriend at the time and my brother and I in the living room on a couch and a love seat. Fall asleep around 10, I was a kid at the time. Living room is connected with the entryway and front door. Wake up around what I can assume was 1 to 2 am. House is pitch black, she has really nice drapes, and I'm scared of the dark. Really have to pee, turn my head so I'm facing towards the entryway. I fucking freeze and my heart jumps to my throat. The house is pitch black yet there is a sliver of light through the front door that reveals what looks like a lady dressed in all white standing completely still. I am literally scared out of my fucking mind, I have to pee so badly, I just lay there stiff and still. I lay there for hours but the lady in white does not go away, she continues to stand in place. Try to scream but I can't and getting off the couch is not an option I'm so fucking frightened. The only time in my life I have felt like death was going to come soon. Suddenly, I look over and the lady in white is gone. This scares me even more and I try to scream but all that comes out is dry raspy yelps. Suddenly I can move again and I start to bawl. I'm still too scared to get off the couch, just sob and try to yell but can't wake anyone up. I cry myself to sleep and wake up from my aunt shaking me. I start to cry the moment I wake up, try to tell her what I saw, she says it was probably just a coat reflecting strangely. Talk to my brother about it, and he says nothing. A couple of weeks later we're playing video games and talking about Naruto. He suddenly goes quiet, and I look over to him. Tears are rolling down his face and he's not moving. I shake him, he doesn't say anything. I call for my mom, panicked, and she comes upstairs without much urgency. I'm crying at this point, wondering what the fuck is going on. She starts to panic too, but tries to contain it, and starts gently saying my brother's name. After about three minutes he snaps back to reality, and screams. But this scream isn't normal, it's raspy and quiet. My mom hugs him in relief and later that day called a therapist. He starts regular sessions, goes to them until we're around 15. Eventually stops, tells me he has nothing to talk about anymore, and around this time we start smoking weed. One night we're smoking at my friend's house, he has a bedroom in the basement next to window that we exhaled out of so we didn't stink up the upstairs where his parents slept. We ate a frozen pizza and went to bed stoned. I wake up around 3 am, needing to pee. I'm startled as fuck because my brother, who was sleeping on the opposite side of the floor, is sitting up and crying. I ask him what's up. He doesn't respond. I go over and he's still as stone, red face, crying. I shake him and slap him and he finally is out of his trance. He lets out that raspy, quiet scream. I ask him what happened. He tells me that this has been happening for years. I ask him if he sees anything. He points into the darkness. I tell him I can't see shit. He says he sees a ghost. Oh shit. It all comes back to me at that moment. Hadn't thought about it for years. I ask him if it looks like a lady in white. He nods. I tell him I've seen it before too. He doesn't believe me at first, but I talk him through exactly what happened and convince him. After that night we talked it out, he said it happened to him as often as weekly to once a month, and that it hadn't stopped since when we were kids. Ask him when it started but he said it's happened too many times to remember.
I say that it started to happen around the age of 11 to 12. He guesses that was the age it happened for him too. Over the next couple of months we discuss it often and he tells me it helped that someone else knows and it hasn't happened since that one night. Later in life, now we're around 18, getting ready to graduate high school. We grew apart once he got a girlfriend and started to devote most of his time towards her. We argue often but since we're brothers this isn't unusual, but he got nasty at times. He told me things like he wished I would kill myself. Once in an argument, he said. My life would be so much easier without you. It's either you or me. He started to go to therapy again, this time because he had swallowed every pill he could find in our bathroom cabinet one night. I ask my mom if she knows what's happening, she says he feels scared often and I finally tell her about the lady in white. She looks surprised and tells her that she's had the same sort of thing happen to her but that it had happened a few years ago after my great grandma died. I ask my mom what her reaction was, but she said it only happened once and she passed it off as being too tired and seeing things. Time passes. One day after school I come home with my brother and he immediately runs to our room upstairs. I don't think much of it, had a date that day, went out with the girl. My phone died while I was out and I forgot a charger, but didn't realize it had died until I was about to leave. I came back home and nobody was there. I plugged in my phone downstairs, called my mom. Said she was out to a party with friends. My dad wasn't around at this point, they got divorced a few months earlier. Walk upstairs and flip on the lights. Saw the most horrifying thing I ever had, and this is sincerely difficult for me to write so please bear with me. The first thing I saw was blood. Small droplets all over the floor, leading to my brother's bed. There was a kitchen knife that was thrown on the floor next to his bed where blood was a bit thicker and congealed on the carpet. A chair was kicked on its side and there hung my brother. His face was bright red and he was struggling. I ran over and in his flailing he kicked at me, but I understood what he was trying to do. I wrapped myself around his legs and lifted with all my might, and he drew sharp breaths in, beginning to sob. Tears were rolling down my face at this point, I just held his legs while he breathed. I picked the chair back up and put it underneath his feet. He stood and fumbled with the noose that he had around his neck. I grabbed for the knife and sawed at it until it broke and came loose. We didn't say anything, rather just sat there and cried. Eventually I caught my breath and asked him what the hell he was thinking, anger was forming within me. I just can't cope with it anymore. What the fuck do you mean? I see it every night and I want it to stop. Realize he is referring to the lady in white. He calms down, asks me not to tell my mom, and fills me in on it. He says he used to just see her every night, but now she started to talk to him, and show him images of horrible things like burning children and disgusting shit. I don't really believe him at first but he goes into sickening detail about how she flashed an image of a beheaded child to him. I start to believe him, and hear the door open. It's my mom, she walks upstairs. She is instantly horrified and begins to scream bloody murder at my brother in anger and fear about the fact he just attempted suicide. I try to calm her down and for the first time in her life she punches me. Starts wailing on my brother, telling him that he's a dumbass, etc. I have never seen this side of her, but he yells back and it's clear he has. He's getting bruised, I can tell she's actually trying to hurt him. If any of you have a brother, you would know what I'm talking about, but I couldn't tolerate seeing him hurt like that. As hard as I can I swing my fist at my mom's head, it kind of misses but hits her enough to knock her over. She starts to cry, probably realizing what she's doing, and we all do too. At this point I realize how fucked my family is. 
After this whole ordeal we went to therapy and my mom got a personal therapist. We all opened up to each other about the white lady, my mom had seen it way more than one time and said that she didn't want to worry me when I asked before. My brother said that was the only time my mom ever hit him like that to my surprise, but I believed him. After a while things cool down a bit, we start acting more like a family, but my brother is visibly afraid of my mom still. We start to talk a bit more and he says he wants to kill himself. He says the white lady has come to him less frequently but still shows him horrible images that torture him at night. I don't really know what to say. Clearly therapy didn't work, nothing really worked to rid him of those night terrors. After we had a long chat one night, we both went to bed. I was having a dream that wasn't really pleasant or unpleasant when suddenly in the dream a child appeared in front of me. I couldn't control what I was doing and I started to beat the child gorily. I couldn't wake myself and was subject to watch myself in the first person brutally murder this child. I awoke scared as fuck, quickly tried to sit up but could only move my head. Standing next to my brother's bed was a woman dressed in all white accompanied by a little boy in a small white suit. I was fucking petrified. Truly the most scared I have ever been even more so than at my aunt's house that one night. I laid like that for hours, not daring to move a muscle. Eventually I drifted back to a dreamless sleep. In the morning my brother seemed happy and told me that he hadn't seen it last night. I didn't dare tell him about what I saw, so I started looking up woman in white, read a few creepy pastas but recognized that was not my situation and it was just baiting then stumbled upon slash x slash. At this point I was seeing the woman in my sleep every night and was just terrified of the night time in general, never wanted to leave the house. And often took sleeping pills to knock myself out so I wouldn't see her. My brother talked to me irregularly and said he had finally stopped seeing the woman, he didn't know what triggered it but life was worth living again. I started to want to kill myself. Slash x slash help because it made me feel I wasn't insane, but I started to plot my own death. One night I chugged a 750 ml bottle of vodka and tried to down pills but ended up just puking in the toilet all night. Now I'm browsing slash x slash, still sometimes see the lady, but she doesn't show me disgusting things as much. She has never spoken to me but I feel like I know her, and I want nothing more than a solution. I'm legitimately desperate slash x slash fills. I feel like I'm trapped in a cycle. Does anyone have any advice? I'm going to kill myself soon if this doesn't stop. I'm 26 now by the way and both my mom and brother say they don't see anything anymore and live pretty happy normal lives.